In today's video, we're going to be talking about some of the paranormal equipment that we use on the channel. We're going to be telling you how exactly they work. So let's dive right in. So first up, we have the Spirit Box. The Spirit Box is a radio, it's a radio device that picks up on FM and AM stations. It is said that the spirits are able to tap into the AM and FM radio frequencies and spirits are said to be able to talk through the white noise that's generated by this device. I can control the sweep rate, but what we usually run ours at 1.5 milliseconds. So that means it'll stay on one radio station for 1.5 milliseconds. This has been one of the most accurate pieces of devices that we have used on our channel. We have captured our names. Curtis! Curtis. Oh. Yeah, I think he did say my name right there. Curtis. 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 Literally, We've captured accurate information through this device and it is a device that I will continue to use. The next piece of equipment that we have is the REM pod. So how the REM pod works is basically whenever the antenna comes into contact with any sort of electromagnetic energy, even the electro impulses in my hand can set off the uh, device. Uh, any sort of electromagnetic energy can set the REM pod off and the closer that the energy is to the antenna, the louder and more vibrant the lights will, will become. Uh, then on the bottom of this device, we can actually put this into a music box mode and it'll play a fancy tune for the spirits and it's supposed to, we're supposed to get a reaction out of it. There is a much more fancier REM pod that we are looking into getting. It's got temperature and a bunch of other cool features on it that I am really wanting, uh, but for now this will do. The next piece of equipment that we use is actually EMF meters. We have two different types of EMF meters that we use on the channel. It is the, the very classic K2 meter. And then we use another one called the ghost meter. And we haven't really used too much of the ghost meter. We have more luck with the K2 meter, which is the one I lean towards for using. We've captured some amazing responses, especially when we went to the Heritage Village. Can you light that device up full lights if you're here with me? You're here with us? That's you? Light it up if you're want us to stay it wants us to stay it just lit up all right So how the EMF meter works is basically it works off of electromagnetic energy and the more electromagnetic energy that is around the EMF meter it'll actually detect and it'll make the lights on the meter uh, spike and go up. The next piece of equipment that we use on the channel is a digital voice recorder. Spirits are said to be able to talk in a different frequency than our ears can hear and digital voice recorders are said to be able to pick them up. You can use any type of digital voice recorder. You can even use your cell phone with the record app on it. A really good example of an EVP we captured on a digital voice recorder would be probably at the Hopkins Dining Parlor. We captured one of the clearest EVPs I have ever heard. Andy, are you here with me right now? There's a spirit in here. If you talk into the red light on my stick, I'll be able to hear you. Whoa, hang on. Did you guys just hear, did you guys just say something? No. I just heard a female vo a moan. Alright, 
right, moving on. Last but not least, we have the most popular piece of paranormal equipment that we use on the channel, and that would be the SLS camera. So how this device works is the SLS camera uses a Xbox 360 Kinect camera to map in figures. So the camera actually projects a laser grid and when a humanoid figure comes into contact with the mapping system it'll track them on the screen turning them into a stick figure which is how we are able to see our figures on the screen it is a wonderful piece of equipment that i know is a fan favorite if you want a more detailed uh, instructional video on how that actually works and how to build one if you want to use it at home uh, i'll leave a link to spectral research video they're the ones that invented that uh, designs all right thank you so much everyone for watching this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching and we'll see you all in the next one